everyone. This is John from Five Minute Gag. I am, uh, I want to do a really, really, really quick video and show you how to adjust a lot of the photos in these templates because they can sometimes get a little bit maddening. The technique we're going to use is really basic, really simple. Once you know it, it's like mind numbingly impossible to figure out without actually knowing what you're doing. First, we just want to simply replace these photos with new photos um, without having to do a hell of a lot of formatting. formatting. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, decide which photo I want to replace. So it's this one right here that I want to replace. Um, so we're going to go over here into our layers panel and I'm going to let me just move some of these panels around real quick so we have more, more room over here. All right, so I'm gonna, um, <laughs> what I want to do is collapse all these, all these folders. And now this is a photo or a picture. And depending on what template you're using, who built it, and how well they are at being organized, we're going to just hit that drop down box there. And it looks like they are pretty decent at labeling their stuff. And the easiest way to find out which photo you're going to be replacing is to hit the little eyeball there. Boom. And that's it right there. So we want to replace that photo. Now, it's really simple. This is the photo we want to replace. So we have that photo selected. So we're going to replace it with another photo. And let me pull up some photos here. And I don't know. Um, let me go to one of my hard drives here that has lots and lots of photos. And I don't know, let's just do a photo of my son because he's super cool. So we're just going to find that photo and just drag it right on top of your project. And boom, haha, -ha. super cool, right? And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. So you're going to place the photo hit enter and that's going to place the photo relatively where you want and what I like to do is drop that opac oh, yeah, that opacity down a little bit and now here's here's an interesting thing um, here's something you should definitely know since everything is in a folder um, almost everyone has a default that has their Photoshop defaulted for automatically select group or layer. And what that does is it grabs the whole group, which is frustrating. Um, what you want to do is you want to select the layer, which is the, the photo that I have here. And then up here, you see that? We're going to deselect that because we, we don't want it to automatically select anything. We want to select it in the Layers panel. We want to select the layer that we're working with, and then we want to move it around. Now notice that I dropped the opacity of this photo down a little bit. That's just so I could see through it and kind of see where I want to place it. I'm going to hit Command-T or Control-T if you're using a crappy computer, and we're going to just transform that, you know, just adjust the scale a little bit. And let's see, yeah, that's about where we want the photo. So I'm gonna bump that opacity back up to 100%. And here's where the magic happens. It's on the very next layer above the photo we're trying to replace. We are going to right click, go down to create clipping mask. And I won't click it yet. Just watch the photo and see what happens. It's kinda cool, boom. That's all there is to it. It's ridiculously simple. So let's say we, you know, let's say we want to replace these guys right here. You know, these, that's the photo we want to replace, turning it on and off. And then I'm going to go over here and let me select this photo, another one of my son, because why not? And then I'm going to use the before I hit enter, I'm going to use the transform controls to kind of size it to where I want it. I'm going to eyeball it a little bit. And 
um, drop the opacity down to like 50% and maybe Command T or Control T if you're using a Windows. Um, position that where you want it. Bring the opacity back up to 100. And then you're going to go over to the Layers panel, right click, Create Clipping Mask. It's just that easy. It's so easy. It's just so stupid easy. So what I'm going to do is this first image that we did, I'm going to delete that image. And you see that the image is still under here. And let's say we want to, you know, we want to use a portrait photo instead of a square or whatever. Well, we don't care about what the original photo is. So we're going to hit, you know, the way the original photo, because we're going to replace it, right? So let's say I just want to have that photo take up this entire space right here. So Command T or Control T. And we're just going to drag that down until it looks like it fits. And then what I want to do is I want to get rid of that text. So let me find where the story headline and picture, story headline and picture. Let me find in the text folder where they put that. Okay, so that's that one. So I'm going to disable that. And then you'd think they'd put it all right next to each other. So your name, your location. So your name, your location would get rid of. And then there's that Lauren Ipsum, Lorem Ipsum, or whatever you call that. So that's uh, the reason I'm not just selecting it right now is because it is, it's in a folder. So, you know, if I enable selection, uh, here we go. All right, so that's column two, that's column one. All right, so we've gotten rid of all that text, and it takes a couple seconds to search and find out which text it is, but whatever. So I'm going to close that text folder again, and we're going to, you know, we still have our, our photo, this photo, selected right here. And I want to replace that with another photo that's in portrait. And we don't care that this photo underneath is distorted. That doesn't mean a thing. So here we go. I'm going to take this photo of my son jumping. And I'm going to, uh, if you hit shift while you're dra dragging these corner points, it'll keep your photo in. Um, it won't distort the photo or anything, which is good. So this is I don't know, right about there. I'm going to hit Enter, and then uh, reduce the opacity like 50% so I can move this exactly where I want it. And then bring that opacity back up. And just like we have done before, we're going to have to right click, create clipping mask, and Boom. Not bad at all. Anyway, I hope that helped you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. This is John from Contention Media with 5-Minute Guide. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share. Let everybody know how awesome clipping masks are. Yay! Talk to you later.